celebrate and magnify him. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Take fast hold of instructions. Keep her. Let her not go, for she is thy life. Instructions are the highways out of frustrations and destructions. Go forward. Means go forward. And they went forward. The sea saw them, it fled. And the enemies were swallowed by the same sea. God is not a joker. He means what he says and he says what he means. And there is nothing he says but to our own advantage. Every of his instructions for our profiting. Every of God's instruction is for our profiting. Lord, help me. To generate greater values for your instructions than ever. Lift up your two hands and pray that prayer. Help me to generate more value for your instructions than ever. Thank you, Jesus. Help me to possess greater value for your word than ever. Help me to place greater value on your word than ever. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for another day. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Receive all the glory. Now speak to us as individuals. Let no one return from this covenant hour of prayer without a word in his hand. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. And please, you may be seated. Praise God and more than a conqueror. Congratulations. Congratulations. Everyone that is truly in love with God is ordained a more than conqueror's believer. You check that passage of scriptures, it's all about who shall separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. When you are in love and you remain in love, you become more than a conqueror. In the name of Jesus, no one will miss that heavenly package ordained for us this year in the name of Jesus. May everyone's love change level supernaturally. May your love for God scale new heights this time. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Engaging the God of vengeance for supernatural church growth. Now let me say this. Anyone that engages with the growth of his church... is also ordained for a supernatural change of level. Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry. And now we multiply them, they shall not be few. I will also in the process glorify them and they shall not be small. I will turn them from mediocre to stars. And you say, what does that mean? Verse 21. He said, and their nobles shall be of themselves, and their governors shall proceed from the midst of them. I'm changing their level because they are part of growing my church. They engage their heart in growing my church. They have committed me to their own spiritual change of level. So it's not just, oh, let's go walk. No, we're walking to see God's word also come to pass in our life. Can I hear your Amen. God is committed to advancing those who are dedicated to advancing his kingdom. 
1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 6, it was God that advanced Moses. You can't advance yourself. I can't advance myself. It was God that advanced Moses and Aaron. I mean, when you are engaging in the advancement of the kingdom, you have committed them to your own advancement in all areas of life. We serve a covenant keeping God. The young lions do want and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Psalm 34 verse 10. So commitment to kingdom advancement and divorce is for our own supernatural advancement in return. Get excited at engaging. There are many, many people in this church. We have some testimony this morning. Unusual change of level. Just moving on and moving on and moving on. You see what's happening? They were trading every instruction of scriptures to create their own future. Trading every instruction of scriptures to create your future. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. If you diligently hearken to my voice, observe to do what I command you to do. I, God, without permission from no man, under any condition or circumstances, we set you on high above all nations of the world. So trading scriptural instructions is a covenant channel for creating your future. So it's not somebody putting pressure on another person to do something for whatever sake. Why vengeance? Every great door always attracts many adversaries. 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 9. For a great door and effectual is opened unto me, but there are many adversaries. You don't stop them, they will stop you. They are half a fight. You can't meet them with a play. You don't stop them, they stop you. That's the other side of God that believers have not come into grips with. We serve a two-sided God. 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 6. The Lord kill him. What? I make it alive. He brings it down to the grave. And he brings up. It's a bit scary, but I, I finished that manuscript about 2019 or there about. The other side of God. People don't know that that's what the enemy takes off for a ride. So, you can't, you can't move a, a leap against me and go free. No, no. Who sent you? We devil. We devil. I caught the light of the other side of God in 1979. From the ministry of A. A. Allen. No, we, we just sell ourselves for cheap. My point is, can it so again? So, nobody can come against this church and go free. No, it's his church, sir. You come against the stone, you are broken to pieces. The stone descends on you, you are going to a powder. There is no joke here. Fire for fire. In chapter 7 of Psalm, verse 10, he said, The Lord is my, he said, my defense is of God, which saveth the upright. Watch verse 11. God judged the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. I didn't write that. You think God is happy with the, with the wicked? No. If the wicked turns not, he will, he, has, he will wet his sword, sharpen his sword. He has bent his bow and made it ready. I'll deal with you. He has also prepared for him the instruments of death. God. He ordained his arrows against the persecutors. That's God. You, don't, you are not serving a Mickey Mickey God. Not a Mickey Mousey God. He 
if you are a true father and somebody is holding a cutlass to kill your son and say, okay, God have mercy. Is that what you say? No. Mama crumbled. Tene. Christianity has become cheap, cheap thing without any spiritual insight. The other side of God is for your defense. If you don't engage with it, you become defenseless. The enemy can just toy with your life and destroy it. Therefore, every agent of the devil that is out against the advancement of the church of Christ in Nigeria, they come under judgment today. Mapu tekete rute brodaga enkoko pekete nuka no matter their status, no matter what place they occupy, mare zoka implo pretenia judgment. God's instrument of death is released on their lives. Surely, he said, in righteousness shall that be established, you shall be far from oppression. Isaiah 54 and verse 14. Surely they shall gather together, but not by me. Verse 15. And they that gather together against you shall fall for your sake. It's God's agenda to bring down every gang up against his people. Mapoto Sigala, Embro Peketo Susunia, Eyaka, Patendro Pikinetuze, Maroska. That's God's agenda. Are you holier than God. Some funny ignorant Christian going to no, know I can be invoking judgment. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people, for you to be a loving father and watch your son be molested and keep quiet means you're a wizard. Wickedness is bound in your heart. The devil is against this revelation on the other side of God. You better embrace it. I will have been destroyed longest time. Who dare how dare you? Shama Kamu training Balusar. How dare you? Let's stop selling ourselves for cheap. We serve a two-sided God. We serve a two-sided God. Sin is a righteous thing for God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Second Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6 is part of God's righteousness to reward every of your troubler with tr tribulations, to, to reward them with afflictions. Put that scripture on the screen, my friend. It's a righteous thing with God. To recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Anyone that won't let you go must go for you. Yeah. Anyone that will stop the way against the advancement of the church must go down for the church. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Isaiah 49 and verse 24 to 26. The other side of God. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered? But thus said the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend, I will fight your fight against those who are fighting you and I will save you. Your children, I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am the, the Savior and the Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. That's your God introducing Himself as the God of vengeance. I thank my God, I got that thing early. I thank my God. He showed me that thing early. The Lord killeth. Make it alive. He bring it down to the grave. 
and they bring it up. Wherever you see the dead being raised, you better be careful. The same God is the dead will push men to the grave. Amapo to say, Chloe Shagalabad. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Please know the other side of God is for our defense. Anyone that haunts your children will go down with their children. Pharaoh went down, not only a firstborn, he the one that born the firstborn, went down. The son went down the previous night, he went down the following day. That's the other side of the goal we serve. Ashakane proba, meno treno preke noda. Let all agents of the devil in the country beware. Judgment has come. May put to say Konaba within the next seven days, we'll hear from heaven. Yeah. Judgment has come into the camp of the wicked. Yeah. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Yeah. That's the God you serve. It's not just arising to save people, it's arising to deal with the wicked. And let them that also hate him flee before him. Some will run on their feet out of this country. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As works matter before the fire, so let the wicked perish. Bah! Let the wicked perish. Let the wicked perish. Now the psalm of a man with a heart for God, not for people who don't know where they're going, just selling bread and butter and don't know nothing about God. That's David crying out. You know why this will happen? Isaiah 63 verse 4. For the day of vengeance is in my heart because the year of my elect or redeemed is come. God has come down to decorate his church in Nigeria. Not just your local assembly here. My God, this great move of the spirit across the land and breadth of Nigeria is to chain level. And anyone that stands on the way will be grinded to powder. Grinded to non-existence, that remaining. Thank you, Jesus. Now, in conclusion, in God's agenda, vengeance always precedes next level breakthroughs. <laughs> And the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn, to give to them that mourn in Zion, beautiful ashes, the oil of joy for money, the garment of prayer for the spirit of heaviness, and they shall build the old ways. In most cases, more often than none, God's vengeance always precedes the breakthroughs of the saints. Always. Precedes the breakthroughs of the saints. Isaiah 61, verse 2. Uh, talking about the anointing, we have the first, the, uh, the first and the later in. We enter later in with the day of vengeance because it's era of supernatural breakthrough for God's people. Israel could not come out of Egypt until vengeance first answer. Vengeance descended, then their rescue established. God's breakthrough agenda for his people is usually preceded by vengeance. Watch. Sun's about to break up. The kingdom of darkness will suffer torture. The agents of the devil will smear. So they will stink. Akako keko tamaka. They will smell and they will stink. Glory to God. Now, tonight, watch it. The hold of the wicked upon everyone that God has brought to his kingdom in this operation will find their way to church. Sunday, there will be a holy invasion because the powers that held them down have come under torture. Stand to your feet.
Thank you, Jesus. Come on, give the Lord a big hand of praise. Amen. Glory to God. Lift up your two hands, everybody, and give God thanks. Amen. In Jesus' name, there's a prophetic cry from heaven. Tell Pharaoh, Israel is my son. Even my firstborn. I'll let my son go. That my son. If you don't let him go, I'll kill your first son. Did he do it or not? And he destroyed Pharaoh on top of it. When God is there to do something, you can't stop him, son. You can't stop the way against God except you're a fool. You don't stand in front of a trailer and say, come, who are you? Trailer will grind you without knowing. You'll be less than a stone because you are flesh. You just like say, did I climb something? He didn't know. Sixteen with that trailer. You are talking of the almighty and then one tiny boy, one, one upside down brain person. One brute. Stand on the way. You'll be left without anybody knowing who died. The church is God's firstborn. He's called the church of the firstborn. We are the church of the firstborn. We are the church of the firstborn. Don't toy with the church. Ah! Don't toy with the church. No generation has ever escaped it. Don't toy with the church. Papa Pekete. Tell all the demons, all your native doctors, that I say so. Don't and those who have attempted it have paid and those who will still attempt it will pay for it the price is gruesome and you look for it thank you Jesus aren't you glad you are a member of the church of the firstborn God is ever out to defend the firstborn is ever out to defend the firstborn is ever out to defend the firstborn and you are part of people that God has vowed to defend now lift up your two hands everybody and thank God for his our defense and he defends us by vengeance he defends his own by vengeance he defends us by vengeance he defends us by vengeance in Jesus precious name we are praying now stretch forth your hand one moment and then ask for the breath of the Holy Ghost to be renewed upon these tracts in the name of Jesus we also have a flight that will be available this evening. Search for your hand over it. Lord, breathe upon these tracks as we made them available this evening for our mop-up operation for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Now, ask for that breath of the Holy Ghost upon it. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. Well, your season of open reward is finally here. Yeah. Let every devil take over. Your season of open rewards is finally here. Amen. Your season of open reward is finally here. Amen. Lift up those two hands and give God thanks. Shall we together share the goodness of the Lord in fellowship? Days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Now, don't forget our special seminar tonight. Uh, the Lord spoke to me some very interesting thing about your launch into the realm of financial fortune. Amen. I mean, I've, I've, I've never heard of those things myself. But Jesus told me what it is that everyone needs to be free from general of financial uncertainties and oppressions and failures. Don't miss it for anything. It's for this Wednesday and next Wednesday. Lift up your hands.